Hey guys, Ojanelle here. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are talking pumping for moms on the go. Ojanelle is not my name, and if you must know, it's a statement, bitch! into spilling the tea we are going to sip on some from the upland tea house it has antioxidants that protects against cancer heart disease and stroke it is a caffeine free alternative and it is also a remarkable sleep aid so this one i have is number one the og flavor the tasting notes are full-bodied infusion carefully harvested during peak season with a synergy of woody and sweet notes of caramel and cream, it's rich in antioxidants with no caffeine and is best to serve hot. Now, you're going to want to steep this for about five minutes. And here I am putting a tablespoon and a half into my tea strainer. This is around seven to eight ounces of water. And I'm just going to let it steep for five minutes. You can add honey if you want it a little sweeter but I'm trying to cut back on the sweets and I just like to find teas that give you a good enough flavor that you don't need honey, but it's really up to you. This can be served hot or cold and let's take our first sip together. It's very light and flavorful, but it also has a creaminess. I can taste the caramel undertones and mm. Cheers. So here I am in a teeny tiny airplane lavatory. I would recommend using the lab that has a changing table. This part here is pivotal. Now, really, really simple and easy. Just ask the flight attendant for a garbage bag and bring in some sani wipes, disinfecting wipes, whatever it is you have. Now, here I am taking my disinfecting wipes and I'm wiping down this changing table because I could tell you the likelihood that these get cleaned <laughs> is not very high. Mm hmm then, after I wipe down the surface nice and clean, I'm going to go ahead and spread out my plastic bag for an extra layer of protection. You're dealing with your breast milk. You're dealing with your pump parts. You don't want any type of cooties or germs on there. Now, here I have my pump bag. This is the bag that I keep my stride in. We're going to open it up so you guys can see what's going on in this bag here. It's not that easy trying to record and hold the camera with one hand, so bear with me. And there we are. I keep my pump nice and organized. Right here I have my wipes, my pump wipes. I'll go into detail on these a little later. A little sink, you don't wanna use that. That water is not potable, you don't wanna drink it, you don't want it on your pump butts. It's disgusting, okay. This is the second option. I'm sure you guys have noticed that there are quite a few pump pods or breastfeeding pods, nursing pods in their local airports. Now, some airports don't have these, but they do have nursing rooms that you can utilize. Just ask anybody on the nursing, the nursing staff. Just ask anybody that works in the airport and they should be able to tell you where either a pod is or a nursing room. So you get the app. It'll tell you where your nearest pod is. You can unlock it in there. If the lock don't work, it will give you the code. Boom, bam, bam, click, and there you go. Unlock. These pods are very, 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 very handy. Shout out to whoever created these because they make life so much easier. You can come in here and just use your big body pump if you have a long sit in the airport. Or you can come in here and nurse your baby if you do not feel comfortable being around a whole bunch of people. There's a nice seated area. It is pretty clean in here, but you also want to make sure that you always clean up after yourself because don't nobody want to be in there if it's disgusting, right? This is the Medela Quick Clean Pump Spray. This is a really convenient way to keep your pump parts clean. You can put it in a smaller bottle, like a smaller three ounce bottle if you're traveling because you cannot carry eight fluid ounces. Sometimes you could get away with it if you have it in your pump bag. Um, they let you get through TSA with um, amounts of breast milk and all of that. I've never tried it with the bottle this size. I've always kept it in a smaller compact bottle. This is for breast pumps, 
breast pump parts and baby bottles. It has no harsh chemicals. It's gentle enough to clean nurseries. No rinse, no wipe, no residue. So you can just spray everything on out and that's it. Now me personally, I spray everything on out, I wipe it out, and then I just rinse everything with hot water. That's just my preference. You don't have to do that. They also have the wipes, and these are something that I keep in my pump bag. These clean without soap or water. They're free of alcohol, bleach, and perfumes you can use for toys in the nursery and anywhere. So these I keep in my pump bag. Once I'm finished pumping, I just go ahead and wipe everything out. And then I prefer to rinse everything out with hot water, wipe it down with a clean towel and let it dry. Anyway, guys, um, if you do not have a wearable pump, there's still many options out there for you. A lot of um, airplanes do have um, in-seat power outlets. So, you know, if you're comfortable, just pop that thing on. You can throw a shawl on over yourself, go ahead and pump. Nobody's gonna hear you pumping on the plane. Do what you gotta do to feed your baby. And also the mamama option, also the mamama option is a great option for you because you do have a little bit of privacy. Um, they do have a lot of portable pumps that do come with um, like a battery pack extender. But um, for me, I chose the wearable. If you wanna take a look at any of my wearable videos, I will link them down below and you guys can check them out. Um, let me know what your tips and tricks were. I'm curious to hear about it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.